we didn't want to be preachy with this campaign. We really wanted to do something that people felt like that seems fun. I'm willing to get on board and I'm willing to do it. Mr. T will turn to coal and so will this fool. I turned to cold. You know, technically you're Mr. T. Technically, Steve. Hi, I'm Amy Cravio. I'm the brand vice president for North America Laundry at Factor & Gamble. Aaron Stoller, and director at Biscuit Filmworks. My name is Danny Lovaton, and I'm chief creative officer at Sachi & Sachi New York. I'm Paul Bickler. I'm chief creative officer of Woven, part of Sachi & Sachi. What was the initial problem that Tide was looking to solve with this campaign? We knew that we wanted to um, set a new mission for ourselves, for every load of laundry in this country to do a load of good. And we knew that that meant that every load should have um, a reduced impact on the environment and that we could increase the impact of clean clothes. And it turns out 90% of the energy is in heating the water. So we wanted to see, could we persuade Americans to do three out of four loads of laundry in cold water? When we first got the brief, we recognized this was about changing people's behaviors. We thought, you know, let's, how are we gonna make this fun? How are we gonna make this something that people really wanna participate in? If you need to give a message of this kind to people where you're asking them to change a behavior and like something that is so on autopilot, we really need to stick out with, with as much entertainment value as possible. The concept of using cold callers and um, people with cold names was so sticky and memorable. Ice tea, stone cold, calling on everyone to turn to cold washing with time. Ice T is Ice T, and he, you know, he, he doesn't he doesn't fuck around. And then Stone Cold was a lot funnier and warmer than I thought he would be. They both brought in a lot of their own personality, but also willingness to be spontaneous on set. A real plus of this program is that everyone that's participated has been a real joy to work with and really embraced the program. They really got some great talent on those, and I think all those spots are extremely, you know different because of those people and they were able to take a lot of boxes. We were thinking, oh, who could we bring that's, that brings a different audience into the idea? And I think like Vanilla Ice had to be there just because of that pun, like we were saying. Ice Ice, baby. Then Annie Murphy and so on, they started checking certain boxes that we were like, oh, this is broadening and broadening the reach. As more and more names come into the mix, more and more opportunities for who we could call uh, to, to get the message out. It just kept building and building. Hello. Hello, Mark Messier. It's Messier. Mark Messier. Mess C A. From the time the the board landed to you know the time we shot it was probably you know three to four weeks. We always wanted to launch this program around Earth Day. And so the original plan was for, you know, right around April 2020. But like everyone, we got surprised by the COVID-19 pandemic. We took our focus to where it was needed during the pandemic uh, in order to do it. I think we all just were really hoping that this was going to come back. I think it just gave us time to really take a step back and look at the whole program. That last round of edits, that last extra push actually to made the work better. Part of the beauty of this has been that everyone has received a cold call at home and reacts to it in their own way. Mr. T, of course, he would say, quit your jibber jabber when somebody said cold calls him out of the blue to talk about washing in cold water. Yeah, what y'all want? Will you turn to cold washing with Ty? Quit your jibber jabber. Mr. T is a national treasure. I'd never worked with him before. I don't think I've ever come across a human being who is more positive. Oh, wait, there's, I totally randomly, I just saw this. This was the Mr. T thing that he gave everybody. You sign it on the back and you go, I'm We got one and it has all of the catchphrases and it's signed and it says like, quit your jibber jabber, so yeah. <laughs> Do you have a favorite of the campaign? I like the one with Annie Murphy a lot, where she says, um, I will take that change for the environment. I will take the money for the environment. I will take that money for the environment. Annie Murphy, has such a great comedic timing. We had this idea of like, they call and she like bounces back the call and she's like, no, and subscribe. And she was like, oh, I can make that work. Her timing and her, her presence and her ideas, like she was, she was an absolute treat to shoot with. Oh, the environment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the trees and the, and the, and the shrubs. How much money? Vanilla Ice was pretty amazing too. Ice Ice Baby always gets me. Like when they call him, he's like, Vanilla Ice Ice, ice Baby. Like the fact that he went for that and he was like game to make that. 
And we were like, yeah, and you're going to be eating vanilla ice cream. And he's like, no one's going to notice. And I'm like, but someone will. He brought a lot of comedy and stuff to it. Vanilla Ice made up his own rap on set. He was like, oh, what if I try this? That was super fun. Hey, if hot's a problem, yo, I'll solve it. Check out the washing machine as it revolves it. <laughs> Can you talk a bit about where the jingle came from? From the beginning, Paul was like, this needs a jingle. We were working with um, a group called Pickle Music. We were looking for a way to brand this program, like make it almost feel like the opening of a television show. This is a cult when they showed us this one, we were like, "Okay, we're gonna we're gonna play with this one because it was it was really fun." Is it a campaign that you would like to continue on? Yes, we, um, you know, Tide has announced our Ambition 2030 commitments, and so those are for the next 10 years and beyond. So you're gonna keep Stone Cold and Ice Tea and work for a few years yet? <laughs> I can't speak to future advertising, but I can tell you we love working with them, and you know, uh, they're gonna stay around for the foreseeable future. This is a cold call.